Welcome to another class in programming VB. Right, so today we are going to discuss a part A program. This is your part A first program. Let me first read out the question for you. Part A, design a user interface, UI. UI stands for user interface, which means it's your design, what you do here, what you see here on screen. That is called as your UI, okay, user interface. To accept students' details, such as you should have register number, name, department, and marks in five subjects. You have to take the input from the user. So you have to make the user enter the register number, name, department, and then five marks, five subject marks. Okay, after which you have to calculate the total marks, right? Which means add all the five subjects. Percentage, so order add all the five subjects divided by five will be your percentage and division. Division is nothing but your grade. We are going to calculate the grade. Say if it is greater than 80. Uh, your uh, percentage is more than 80 then we are going to put you in a grade b grade c grade and so on right so we also have a segregation there we are going to put you in those grades right the most important part of the whole uh, question is validate the input data what do you mean by validating validating is you are going to try and avoid the error in the program so in a way by helping the user okay helping him not to make mistakes right so we have to take care of the program so when the user is entering data say for example in this particular numbers what can go wrong i'm going to add all the five numbers to find the total marks i'm going to divide that by five to find the percentage so when these two things are there it is it has to be numbers what if uh, by accident i'm going to enter an alphabet in these instead of entering marks in these five subjects i'm going to put some alphabets then it will try adding the alphabet there will be a some confusion and it will definitely end up in error to avoid that what we are going to do so whatever we studied in the keyboard key press event the same coding we are going to use here so we are going to validate by using that so what is that what that does that uh, code do it will make sure that the user is only entering numbers and not entering alphabets if you can make sure of that then you are avoiding errors to a large extent this is called validating the input data. This is one method of validating the input data. Right. So let us get into the program now. It's a simple program. You just have to uh, make the user enter five marks, add it and find the percentage. So using the percentage, you have to grade the student. Right. Let us see how that can be done. Yes, here. Here is the design, a simple design for you. Right, so I have named the program a student's report card. Part A program, first program. So I have designed the user interface UI like this. So I have dragged a label first to say that it is student's report card. So let me align it maybe now. Right, yes, it is center aligned. This is going to be label one. Right, then there are other labels like name, department, register number. These are the subjects language, English, visual programming, Unix shell programming, right? And then you have operations research. Okay. These are the subjects we are going to take into account, right? Then we are going to say calculate. After entering all the marks, I will say click on calculate. So where I will write the program? I have to write the program in this calculate command button. Command one only I should write, right? So after I click on calculate, what happens? It will calculate the total marks. That will come here. It will calculate the percentage that is going to come here. It is also going to calculate the grade and that is going to come here. Okay. So this is what we are going to be doing. Right. So these are the things we are going to be doing. Let us see how to write the program. So I again repeat the design. You have labels here. All these things are labels. Name, department, language, visual programming. All these are labels right and register number or labels i have one command button here that is command one the uh, caption i have used here is calculate that's a button which i will click and it will calculate the total and percentage right apart from that i have text boxes everywhere so you have to remember the names of the text box see i will put text boxes here and there right so register number is my text box one okay this is text box two this is all fine but what is very important is you have to remember which text box are used for subjects right so text box 4 5 6 7 and 8 so again i repeat 4 that you have to note down because you have to add those text boxes 
So you should be extra careful. These three, anyway, just for entering only. We don't are not using it in the program. But what we are using in the program, you should be very careful. Text box four, text five, text six, text seven, and text eight. We will be adding all this and finding the total. Dividing by five, we will find the percentage. Based on the category, we will assign a grade. That is one thing. Right? That is one part of your question. The second part of the question says validate which means whenever I am entering these marks, I will make sure that they do not enter alphabets. How am I do going to do that? I am going to use the key press event, same coding which we have seen for the event driven programming. I am going to use the same coding and make sure that they do not enter any text. They only enter marks. Okay, this part is called validation part. Right? Let me first execute and show you, then we will go to the program itself. Okay, So, this is my report card program name, register number, department, marks now, language marks, English, some marks randomly I am entering, Right? So, these are the marks I have entered, random marks. I have to click on calculate so that my total marks and percentage will get calculated and also my grade will be found out. Right? Let us do that. Yes, I have done that. So, all are on, on an average maybe it is around 60. So, it is coming under grade C. So, it is 62.8 is the actual percentage and you are coming under grade C. Yes, so this is what we have done. So, what are the things we should do? First, add this text box 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and that result should come in text box 9. Then text box 9 divided by 5 should come in this text box 10. Right? Text box 11 which is this will be used for grade. Right? So, this is the program. So, let why I am telling you text box 4, 5, 6 and all we are going to see that in the program. That is how I know. Right? Let us see that. Closing it. Okay, for closing, you can also have a button, right? A close button you can have. Say, for example, I am going to have it in this corner, let us say, right? The caption I will have it, say, capital X I will have just to look like a close button. The coding I will write here is very simple coding E and D, that is it, right? End is the code. So, let us see if it is to close. Yes, so you had a close button also. Now, Going to this, I have entered everything I have to calculate. So, I am going to double click on the calculate button to find out how the calculation program is written. It is very simple as I told you, which is text box 9 that you should be as a programmer, you should know. So, this is what I am calculating now, text box 9. I wanted to calculate total marks. So, how am I calculating it? Total marks is equal to value of text 4 plus value of text 5, 6, 7 and value of text 8. Okay, add all this, you get your total. Text 10. What is text 10? Let us see. Text 10 is nothing but your percentage. So, what you should do? Whatever you have added together, which is text 9, has to be divided by 5. You got the percentage now. Now, keeping the percentage, we have to find out the grade. So, we will use the same if loop which we have used in the other programs. So, if end if is the loop. So, this is the if loop. If end if it is called as if block. If else if else end if block. So, if this value, which is your grade, okay, if value of text 10 dot text is greater than 80, if it is greater than 80, then text 11, what is text 11? Text 11 is your grade, this is text 11, okay, can you see here text 11? So, your text 11 is equal to A grade, right? If it is not greater than 80, it is less than 80, but greater than 70, then it is B grade. Greater than 60, I am going to say it is C grade. Greater than 50 is D grade. If it is not greater than 50, I am going to say he or she failed. So, grade is going to be fail. Right? So, let us see what grade it is. See, anyways, we are going to say grade there. Let me know, remove it or let it be A, B, C. That looks good, I guess. Right? Some changes just to see whether it is reflecting. Right? So, D. These are the grades I have. The last grade, let me say it is F means it is fail. Right? So, let us have it uniform. So, I am going to give space before and after. Right? So, done. My program is done. Now, I will save the changes. Whatever saved 
yes whatever changes i have done again i'm going to execute the program and see if it is working so one part of the program is done it was very simple text 9 dot text is equal to value of text 4 value of text 5 value of text 6 7 and 8 all you add right that becomes your text 9 which is your total text 10 is the percentage text 9 divided by 5 always remember to use val right for any calculation you have to use val okay now we have to calculate the grade find out the grade so if value of text 10 dot text is greater than 80 then text 11 dot text is equal to a right else if value of text 10 dot text is greater than 70 then and so on when you are coming to the end else if none of the above is true which means your marks are less than 50 so then the grade becomes f right let us see again so you have to enter all these details is some number department is bca in which marks so let us see we will give more marks for priyanka okay try and put her in the a grade it will be nice to look yes she is a grade percentage is 91 more than 80 itself will be a grade it is 91 right so this is this is how it is done so i feel the grade here is very dull no all the others are in block let us change the font of that particular text box i'm going to close now click on this close not here that is a system button this is the button created by us i am closing it i will go to the design and you know, what did we say we said this is very dull looks very dull what i will do i will first of all change the font to bold and also change the size I can also change the color so that it looks a little different. It is your grade, right? Let it look uh, look different or let it look in blue. Right? Colors you can change for all the text boxes, labels, it's all up to you. You can have a background, right? You can change your form color, all that is possible. Right? Okay, so this is what we have done. Let us go back to the program. One part of the program we have done that is calculate button is over. Apart from that, what is left out? We also have something called as validation. So text 4, remember text 5, text 6, text 7 and text 8. So these 5 text boxes you need validation. Which means that key press event has to be, program has to be written for them. So what you will do, for program has to be written for this particular text box. You have to double click that, go to the program. So this program you remember, right? Let me explain again. For text box 4, the event we have used here is called key press event. So when I press a key in the keyboard, whatever key I am pressing, the ASCII value of that key, right, will be registered. So, you are going to check with that ASCII value. If the ASCII value which you have, for the key you have pressed, is going to be between 48 and 57, right, then it is number 0 to 9, you are allowing it. Else, if it is going to be less than 48, or if it is going to be more than 57, then you are saying key ASCII is equal to 0, which means nothing will come on the text box. Whatever you click does not happen. Only numbers you will be able to allow to use so that way you are helping the user so in order to avoid errors you are helping the user and making sure that he only enters numbers so this is one type of validation other type of validation what i can do i can every time check the value which is entered in say a text box i can check whether that value is less than 100 what sometimes by accident they enter 300 then everything is going to change percentage is going to be different right so to avoid that you can again do that you can do use a condition say if it is greater than 100 then say invalid marks so the, all that you can do all those are called validations only one such validation we are going to use is this okay this validation i chose because this also comes in your key press event so same validation for all the text box just copy paste the code same validation for all seven and eight all the five text boxes which means for all the marks i have the validation such that my user will not be able to enter any alphabets he will only be able to enter numbers right so this is called as your validation right so my code is like this command one is nothing but the calculate button i am calculating the total percentage and the grade command two is that end button you saw that cross button now on top that is end command two i have added that now and there is also text 4, text 5, text 6, text 7, text 8, I am going to use a key press event to find out what key I am pressing. If I am pressing anything other than 0 to 9, I do not want that to appear on the text box. 
right only 0 to 9 should appear on the text box is the validation i have done right so hope you have understood this this is your first program in pb part a lab program right yes thank you